Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with Ink and Inspirations and today I'd like to show you the ease of assembly of the kits in our Stampin' Up! Kits collection. So these kits are all inclusive. In the box you get everything you need to create the projects. So you can see here there are some adhesives, some twine, envelopes. This particular kit called the Saying Thanks Kit uh, you can create nine cards and they're very colorful and great for thank you cards. So you have some uh, die cut punches there that you, sentiments that you can use. And in each kit there are pictorial directions that are easy to follow. And so it's super simple and we're going to put these three cards uh, together today. So this first one, this thank you card, I see that I need some twine and adhesive and some gems. And so I'm going to take the card base, I folded it in half, and I'm going to punch out the thanks for the front of the card. So for this one, we're using two strips of foam dimensional adhesive. And the pictorial instructions show you how to place the adhesive, so there's no question about it. It's super simple. There I needed to snip off a little in. I went over the edge. So I have the two pieces there. I'm going to pull off the protective paper and I know that I need nine and a half inches of this per the instructions. So there's a little ruler on the side of the paper there of the pictorial um, instructions and you can just measure and cut it off. And really with these kits all you need is a pair of scissors uh, to accompany the, the supplies in the kit. So there I have my twine put on the back and I'm applying it to the card front. And then this one also has You're the Best. So I'll just punch that out and use another piece of dimensional adhesive to place below the thanks. So on these cards we're using these little diamond shaped uh, sequin pieces and each one I believe there's enough for five on each card and so I'm just randomly spacing those to give that card a little bit of fanciness with some bling. So there's the first card. Now for the second one we have some twine and dimensional adhesive and the sequins again. We'll fold the card base in half and then we punch out two sentiments here. Um, I believe it says just wanted to say and then the semicircle is going to say thank you there using dimensional adhesive again and I would like to say with these kits I like to keep them on hand uh, because my granddaughters love to help me put them together they're great for kids and these are also great to give as gifts and in our kits collection in my online store there are many different styles and types of kits so that I'm just placing that according I'm looking at the instructions so I know where the placement is and then I'm going to take the semicircle and put one piece of dimensional adhesive on the bottom and you've noticed I'm sure that uh, the kit comes in several languages English French German and Dutch so now here I'm adding the bling again and this card is going to be finished now the inside of the card is just a plain white and gives you plenty of space for writing your thank you note or whatever you'd like to say to the recipient. This is a fun card. Look at all those hearts. So we're going to start with a beautiful watercolor background on that card base and then you get this sheet of hearts that need to be punched out. I've done most of this one already. You can save those hearts for another project or just discard them. And so this piece takes some long pieces of the dimensional adhesive three going once across the top, in the middle, and then again at the bottom. And so this is going to go over top of that watercolor base and it's going to give it a really pretty look. I love this card. Look at that. Look at all that watercolor peeking through. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now we're going to add the sentiment. It says, I appreciate you. And we'll add the dimensional adhesive again and use this piece I believe uses just about six and a half inches of twine so I measured that off previously and for I'm just making two loops behind um, to adhere to those foam pieces and then put it right there in that space and then of course we have to add our bling 
So let's put that over the top and these three cards are going to be finished. And then you have three of each, three of each designs that you can have. You can make them and give them as a gift or send them yourself. And I hope you will check out the kids collection. There are many styles and give this a try. It's so much fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.